It was a hot Sunday morning and I was inside my room reading a comic when I heard a cicada singing outside my house. Normally, I would just ignore it but this one was close, very close. I could tell judging from the noise it was making, it was pretty loud. Naturally, I wanted to catch it and keep it as a pet. I used to have one a few years prior to that incident but it flew away after I had it for only an hour or so. I came out of my room and saw it resting on a tamarind tree. But I was really surprised to see it. There was something different about it. It was a cicada in every aspect and manner but to me it was an entirely new species. I had never seen nor heard of this creature before. Yes, I do hear them singing every summer but I always thought it was the rhinoceros beetle that was making that noise. Don't ask me how, it was just a hunch that I had. And the pet that I mentioned before, I was actually talking about the rhinoceros beetle. Anyway, after seeing the cicada for the first time in my life, I felt that I had to catch it. The cicada was resting in a pretty low and exposed part of the tree, however, it was out of my reach. So I went back to my room and took out a bamboo stick to try and catch it. Now, some of you might be wondering, how the hell did I find the bamboo stick inside my room? Well, I was going through my ninja face at that time, okay? And since I didn't have a real katana or a kendo stick, I substituted it with a bamboo stick, now bug off. Anyway, I came out of my room with the bamboo stick and slowly tried to approach the cicada, but I was not gonna let it escape me. I started following it. It was fast, but I was able to keep up with it. Now at that time, my house was located just 30 meters away from a river, and that damn cicada was heading straight for the trees near the riverbank, despite the fact that there were plenty of trees nearby. I was so fixed in chasing the cicada that I didn't even bother looking at where I was going. And just a few meters away from me, there was a snake behind the bushes. It was a pretty large snake, about a meter long, or maybe slightly less. I don't know if the snake saw me coming or maybe it didn't get enough time to react, which was a good thing by the way. I headed straight for it and then... I instantly felt a weird sensation. The sensation was almost very similar to the time I stepped on my dog's tail, except it was much softer. I instinctively turned around to see what it was and then... Man, that really scared me. Normally, I'm not really scared of snakes, but at that time I was, uh, how should I put this? Surprise scared. It was kinda like when someone creeps up from the corner and goes, Wah! and you get scared and jump in surprise. Yeah, it was kinda like that. Anyway, after realizing what had happened, I was able to quickly gain control of myself. I looked at the snake for a couple of seconds, doing its weird thing that snakes do whenever someone steps on them, and I realized that I had actually stepped on his head. I was very lucky, if I stepped anywhere else other than his head, things would have been fatal for me so, thank god. Anyway, I was still holding the bamboo stick with me so yeah, I killed it. I'm sorry if you love snakes or animals in general, but what can I say, I had to kill it. Besides, it was too close to my house anyway. After I buried the snake, I realized that the cicada I was chasing was gone. I knew where it went but seeing that there were more trees and bushes in that area, I was like, nope, not worth it.